Hello world and welcome to the vlog. My name is Artemis and this is a space where you and I get to ask some deep questions about life and hopefully come up with the courage to give some honest answers that will help us to get moving and to reinvent ourselves. Something happened this morning that got me thinking about setbacks, about things that get in the way of executing a plan or an idea Things that, that sit you back in time and progress uh, when you're trying to get somewhere. And I kind of get the idea that a lot of the setbacks that I experience in my life are actually my own fault. This morning was a little bit of a blunder. I'm up on the roof of my house at 5.30, before 5.30 a.m. to watch the sunrise and I see that they're blowing up a hot air balloon pretty close to the house. And I've been wanting to make a video of that, like up close. So I grab the gear, I run to the car to drive up there. It's only like a five minute drive. Um, and uh, my back tire is low. So I figure, I figure I'll just go for it. Because right where the, the balloon is, there's a gas station. So I'll just get, I'll just pump up my tire there. I'm driving like 15 miles an hour, so I don't mess up my tire. And it's flapping around back there. By the time I get to where the balloon is, it's already up in the air. And I figured if I grab my drone and, and try to catch it, then it's not gonna give me time to catch up to it because it actually goes up pretty fast. I've tried this before. I've actually been hunting for some nice shots of this of this balloon uh, going up. And I always catch it when it's already far away. So I'm bummed out about that. I drive into the, the gas station to try to try to do something with my tire and the pump the pump is not working well, it's not working properly for some reason it won't detect like the tire is so low it won't even detect it so it won't automatically start so I try to change my tire I couldn't get the lug nuts off because the the tool was, was really tiny and I couldn't get the leverage it was the first time that I, that I saw that the, the tools that I was carrying since I bought the car about a year ago it's an old little car so Anyway, I fumbled with the pump, finally I was able to, to pump it up, but I was bummed out because I, I lost that, that shot. I have been trying to get some nice footage of these hot air balloons for almost a year now. When I first got to this town, I was staying with some friends up on the mountain. Uh, I wake up in the morning, I open the window, and there's like three or four of these balloons floating by in the distance. <clears throat> so I'm like, oh, I gotta get some footage of that. I get the drone, I take off, I try to catch them. They're too far, couldn't get any nice footage. Um, so I asked around and, they, and people tell me where they might take off from. So I actually go there early in the morning, didn't find any. But I keep seeing them around so I can't let go of the idea of hunting one down, getting some up close footage of it inflating and taking off. So it's been this elusive idea in the back of my head. I, I tried to do some research, looked online to see if I could find out where they take off from. I uh, asked around, nobody could tell me. And then winter came, and I guess they don't do any flights in the winter. And then one morning, I'm on the roof of my apartment building to watch the sunrise, and I see one taking off right in front of the house, like five minutes away. Um, I didn't have time at that moment to go catch it because it was already up in the air. But I was really excited to find out where it takes off from. But it's now been over a month since I found out where that balloon takes off from. And I asked myself, if this is my idea, if this is something I wanted to do, if this is something I've been thinking about for over a year, then why haven't I done it? And I realized, I realized something that since from the get-go I had some difficulty finding out the information I needed about this hot air balloon. And I know this is a trivial example, okay? I know life gets a lot more complicated and gives us many more problems. I'm just talking about a general idea because I see that this this happens repeatedly in my life as I think back to many of the other ideas I've tried to execute over the years <clears throat> and how many setbacks I've had and how I would pretty much determine from the get-go, looking back at it, that you know it, it would be too hard or it would be difficult and establishing that fact in my head would stop me from going all out and would stop me from 
from giving it the effort that it needed to get executed. You know what I mean? It basically set a limit on how serious I was about the idea. Here's where this gets important though. We do this not only with trivial ideas and everyday things, we do this with some of the most important things in our life. Our understanding of life and death and God and, and, and truth and, and the big things. From the get-go we set our own limits to how far we can go, how much we can do. That's why it's so difficult for us to break bad habits and also very easy for us to gain new habits because we just determined that this is something that's going to happen. So if you want to reinvent anything in your life you really have to ask yourself a very important question. Where did this idea come from? How did I determine, or better yet, who determined it for me that this is how it's going to go, that this is how much I put into it and this is going to be the outcome. If you're new here, there's a couple of buttons below the video for you to click. One's a big red button for you to subscribe and the other one's a smaller but not less significant bell notification for you to be notified when a new video comes up. If you click those two, you're going to make a lot of people really happy. Have you clicked them yet? I don't want to do that.